Hello and welcome to the most vast stadium in Andalusia, the Estadio Benito Villamarín here in Seville. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. An action coming up from the Spanish top division, La Liga. It's Real Betis versus Barcelona. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And here's the starting 11 for Real Betis. Rui da Silva begins between the posts. Canales plays with Juanmi on the flanks. And the central striker is Borja Iglesias. Well, this is what we think for Barcelona. Marc-André Ter Stegen in goal. Frenkie de Jong plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And the starting role on attack today is handed to Robert Lewandowski. And the match begins. William Carvalho. Juanmi on the ball. Rodriguez. Now with Iglesias. Crossing opportunity. The first goal of the game, they're off and running. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. Back underway, and that should really shake up Barcelona a bit, you would think. Kunde. Tempele. And space to cross it. He's got to score! Oh, he's missed it! Well, he'd be very disappointed with that. He should be scoring from there. Zella in possession Fekir this might have potential it should be and that goes down as a very disappointing attempt. Well, the keeper can't believe his luck. That's a really poor effort. Very really good interception. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. Rodriguez. Carman Pezzella. And an astute piece of defending. Edgar, Carman Pezzella, fine sequence of passes. 
William Carvalho. Juan Me. Now with Iglesias. Can he take advantage? And a goal! They're going to take some stopping now. Two in front here. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. And Sufati. And a chance for him on the flank. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Well, as you can see, the hosts have had most of the ball. And that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent. And they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. Pedzela. Yusuf Sabali with it. Canales. Who can he pick out? Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Borja Iglesias. William Carvalho. And it's with Rodriguez. This attack looks highly promising. The end product just wasn't there. This might be ideal for the counter. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. No possibilities inside the box. Must be a goal! Just what they needed. Still plenty of life in this match. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and what a great finish it is. Struck with power and accuracy, certainly no stopping that. So the whistle for half-time, and Barcelona have been fantastic away from home this season, but work to do today, Stuart. Well, they've certainly played much better than this away from home, but they're still in it, and if they just up the tempo and commit more plays into forward areas, I still think they get back into this. So away they go again, and work to do for Barcelona in this second half. Opportunity to deliver the cross. And that is how to block. Lewandowski, this could level it. Oh, but the keeper with an important save. How important is that? Well, he should score from there. That's a wasted opportunity. He should beat the keeper from that sort of distance. And a good tackle. Well, Barcelona are certainly knocking at the door here, trying to get the equaliser, but they've been denied by a wonderful piece of goalkeeping. What a great save that was. Well, pushing again for a goal, looking full of purpose. And they will make the change now. William Carvalho. In possession, Fekir. Well, keeping hold of the ball is what it's all about for them.
Borja Iglesias. Promising looking ball. And he takes it on. They won't complain about having won the corner and maybe an opportunity to increase their advantage. And there's the delivery. Well, not cleared away completely. Pedzella. Now Fekir. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Bodies forward and the break looks on. De Jong. Busquets. Not to be this time. William Carvalho. Plenty of support here. And they need to get tighter here. Defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. A free kick decision goes the way of Barcelona. Short and along the ground. Jordi Alba. And up for grabs off the keeper. Danger averted for now. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Well, they're creating chances. They now just need to take one of them. Mind you, what a save that was. Borja Iglesias. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Barcelona, free kick. It'll be here. Now, well, now he's walking on eggshells, you might say. Next time it'll be yellow. And a substitution in the offing. Ten minutes to go. Well, no pressure on the keeper. Poor cross. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go, and just one goal between them. Barcelona fighting against this overall situation. What can they pull out of the fire? This could square the game, and it has! Such late excitement, and no wonder they're jumping for joy as we speak. I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. So back underway, the game having been squared at 2-2. Well, what a final few minutes we have here. And the fans are certainly playing their part. But can they take one of these chances that come their way and win this game? And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. And there's the referee's whistle, still all square.